Hello friends, in this part, we will show you how to delete or remove data from MySQL table in Node.js application using Ajax. In previous part, we have already learned how to edit or update MySQL table data by using Ajax in Node.js Express application. Now we have to learn one more CRUD operation like how to delete data from MySQL table in Node.js application using Ajax. So for this, we have go to text editor, and open sample data template file. And under this file, first we want to create, dynamic delete button, in each row of data. So in load data function, so here we have to write, button type is equal to button. After this, we have to write, class is equal to, button, button warning, button small and delete. After this, we have to write, data id attribute is equal to, data count index dot id. So here, we have store, primary key data, under in each row of delete button. And in button text, we have to write delete, so this code will create, dynamic delete button, in each row of data. So when we have click, on this button, then first it ask for confirmation with OK and Cancel button, so if we click on OK button, then it will send Ajax request, for delete MySQL table data. So for this, here we have to write, dollar with document selector, with on function, with three parameter. In first parameter, we have to write click event, and in second parameter, we have to write delete button class delete, and in last parameter, we have to write callback function. So when we have click, on the delete button, then it will execute, this block of code. And under this, first we want to get, data id attribute value, so for this, here we have to write. id variable is equal to, dollar this selector, with data function, and under this, we have to write it. So this code will fetch, data id attribute value, and store, under this id variable. After this, we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write. Confirm function, and under this, we have to write, message like. Are you sure you want to delete this data? So when we have click, on the delete button. Then dialog box will pop up, on web page, with OK and cancel button. So if we have click on OK button, then it will execute, if block of code. And under this block, we have to start create, Ajax request. So in Ajax request first option, we have to write, URL option. And here in value, we have to write, node.js application base URL, slash sample data root slash action root. So it will send Ajax request to this URL. In second option, we have to write method, and in value, we have to write post. So it will use post method, for send data to server. In third option, we have to write data, and here we can define, which data, we want send to server. So here, we have to write, action variable with value delete, and id variable value. In fourth option, we have to write, data type and in value, we have write json. So in ajax request, it will receive data, in json format. Lastly, we have to write, success callback function, with data argument. So this function will be called, if Ajax request has been completed successfully. And it will receive data from server, which can get access, from this data argument. Under this function, first we want to display, success message, on the web page. So here, we have to write, dollar with span tag id message, with html function. And under this function, we have to write, division tag with class is equal to alert, and alert success. And between this tag, we have to write, data.message, so it will display success message, on the web page. After this, we want to display, remaining MySQL table data, on the web page. So here we have called, load data function, so this function will fetch data from MySQL table, and display on web page. After this, we want to remove success message, after 5 seconds, so for this. Here we have to write, set timeout method, with callback function.
and under this function, we have to write dollar with span tag id message. And after this, we have to write HTML function with blank value. And after this, under this function, we have to write 5000. So it will hide success message from web page after 5 second. So here, our JavaScript code is ready. Now we have go to sample data roots file. And here, we have go into action root, and here we have to write. If statement, and under condition, we have to write. Action variable value is equal to delete, so if this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code. And under this block, first we want to get Ajax request data, and store under local variable. So for this, here we have to write, id variable is equal to request.body.it, so here we have store id variable data, in local variable. Next, we need to write, delete query, for delete data from MySQL table. So for this, here we have to write, query variable is equal to, delete from sample data table, where it is equal to, dollar sign, with open and close bracket, and between this, we have to write, id variable. So this query will delete or remove data, from MySQL table. Now we need to execute this query, so for this, here we have to write, database.query function, with two parameter. In first parameter, we have to write query variable, in which we have store delete query. And in second argument, we have to write callback function, with two parameter like, error and data variable. So if data deleted from MySQL table, then it will execute, if block of code. So under this function, we want to send response to Ajax request in JSON format. So here we have to write, response.json function. And under this function, we have to write, message key, and in value, we have to write, data deleted, so this message will be displayed to client side, on the web page. So here our code is ready, now we have check output, in the browser. So friends, we have go to command prompt, and here we have go to, ajax crud node application directory. And after this, we have run this command, so it will start node.js server. Now in the browser, we have hit node.js application base url, slash sample data root file. So here on the web page, we can see, MySQL table data, on the web page. And here we can see that, dynamic delete button has been created, on the web page. Now we have click on the delete button, so after click, on the delete button. Here we can see that, it has asked confirmation, with OK and cancel button. Before deleting of data, so when we have click on OK button, then data will be deleted. And suppose, we have click on cancel button, then no action will be taken. So we have click on OK button, and after click on the OK button. Here we can see that, data delete success message, has been display. And data has been deleted from MySQL table, and here on web page, we can see remaining data. In HTML table format, so this way we can delete data from MySQL table, in Node.js using Ajax. So in this Node.js Ajax CRUD application, we have learned, how to fetch data, from MySQL table. And display on the web page, in HTML table format, and after this, we have learned. How to insert or add data into MySQL table, and next we have show you, how to update or edit. Existing MySQL table data and lastly, we have show you, how to delete or remove data, from MySQL table. Under this Node.js Ajax CRUD application, so here we have complete Node.js Ajax CRUD application tutorial. And we will be meet with new interesting video tutorial, so thank you for watching this video.